Hello everyone, before we start, let's check how you hear me, how you see me, put a plus in the chat. Great, please write what country, city you are from. And one more question, how much experience do you have in Unreal? Are you a beginner or an advanced user? You can write how many years or month you have been working in Unreal. If you have not worked at all, then write that you are a newbie. During the webinar, I will show how to set up the light and lumen. The light comes from Skylight, Fill Light, and I use HDRI in Skylight. Directional light made with directional light. Turn everything back on. If we look at the shadows, the shadows are very soft and without noise. This is achieved by the project settings. Ray tracing. Here you can select ray trace shadows. Without this option, you can partially get rid of noise. But I prefer to use ray traced shadows. Also, to support ray tracing, must be selected DirectX 12. Use hardware ray tracing when available. Support hardware ray tracing. And when you enable ray tracing, some options will be enabled by default. For example, generate mesh distance fields, support compute skin cache, and so on. I remove all light sources and start again. I'll go to the unlit to see the scene. Go to create, lights, and create skylight. By pressing G. You can hide or show controllers. I'll switch back to lead. So far nothing is visible. In source type select SLS specified cube map. I used HDRI from polyheaven.com. You can use any. You can simply drag this HDRI or select the HDRI by clicking on the arrow. You selected asset from content browser. The fill light starts to appear. I press G so that nothing distracts. I will increase the intensity scale, for example, to 50 or to 10. There is already a good fill light. If you look at the background outside the window, this is the sphere that the panorama material is assigned to. I will show what this material consists of. If 
if I go to its settings. In parent, you can see that blend mode is translucent. If you use the default eye safe, then the light from the HDRI does not pass. Light travels from the sphere itself. No matter how I change the skylight intensity scale. We will not see any changes. But if I set the background material to translucent and save it, then the sphere outside the window starts to let in light. Skylight has different settings. For example, I will rotate to 50 degrees. The light will be not be much different but when rotated it will change a bit. Basically, this HDRI provides fill light. You can see the difference by assigning a white HDRI. There will be differences, but not significant. For example, take a look at the ceiling. After adding the fill light, go to Create, Lights and select Directional Light. Now we rotate so that the light goes inside the interior. Here we can turn off snapping and rotate without snapping. For example, we found such a position. If it suits, in the sun settings, by increasing the source angle value, the shadows become blurry. After the light is set, I will show how the default color grading looked like. This is what the color looks like without additional settings. Go to Create. Visual Effects, Post Process, Volume. In order for the post process to start working in, on the entire scene, you need to select Infinite Extend, Unbound, in the settings. Now I'll make it warmer, then I'll select Gamma and increase the value. Thus lowering the contrast and, in addition, you can assign LUT, lookup table. How to find LUT? You can find it by typing LUT on Real Engine. 
follow the first link and download it. Open it in Photoshop. Take a screenshot of the interior, go to Photoshop, press Shift plus Ctrl plus A, Camera Raw. Here I can use various settings. Raise the exposure, raise or lower the contrast. Having made various settings, I click OK. I go to the LUT, Filter, Camera Raw Filter. This is the filter that we applied and selecting this option. The last settings will be applied to the LUT. We look before, after. Save export, save for web, Alt plus Shift plus Ctrl plus S to PNG24. Load LUT, right mouse button, input to game, find LUT, LUT is loaded, go to settings by double clicking. In texture group, Color lookup table, save. In post process, look for LUT. Select color gradient LUT. Click on the arrow, assign it to the scene. This is without LUT. This is with LUT. Changes made in Photoshop are carried over to the scene. You can slightly improve the quality of the light. Here you can see small artifacts, but when there is enough light and an architectural visualization rooms are created light, then Lumen works well, even with standard settings. In the post process, look for global illumination. Change the final gather quality to 6 and see how the details appear. The artifacts go away. We can save, go to cameras, set up animation.
If desired, we can take single frames from the view by clicking here. Select high resolution screenshot. Change the value of screenshot size multiplier to 2, the value by which the visible image will be multiplied and saved in increased resolution. Click on Capture, saving is done immediately. Here's what I wanted to show. Now I can answer your questions. Hello everyone.